Hello folks, this will be a general guide for the energy amplifier event. This is the event where we can get a free Diona. This event is also broken up into three different parts. Part 1 is where you explore the world to collect fragments. Part 2 is to clear a mini dungeon, which is pretty fun. And part 3 are the combat scenarios where we can toggle different difficulties and get points accordingly. Let's start with part 1. By collecting all the fragments, you can get primo gems, so of course we'll be doing this. Just use the event page to navigate to where the fragments are located. When you eventually get to a fragment location, there will be glowing red obelisks that will buff enemies. You know enemies are buffed when they have a dark red aura around them. So definitely destroy these obelisks before you fight the enemies. Sometimes there will be more than one obelisk, so you have to destroy them all to remove the buff. After clearing all the enemies, go ahead and pick up the fragments. Repeat this for every location available. Once you finish collecting fragments, you will be entering your first domain. Before starting the domain, check out all the fragments you got. They each give different buffs and cost a different amount of motive force to use. At the beginning, we only have a thousand motive force, so we cannot grab every buff. Go ahead and read through each buff and select the best ones for your team. You can also have your friends help you get more motive force, but there is still the cap. Since my motive force is already capped at a thousand, adding support characters will not boost it any higher. Anyways, select the buff you like and continue on to the domain. This short dungeon is actually quite fun and you'll be surprised at a little gliding section at the end. After completing that mini dungeon, the real event starts. This is part 3 where you can customize the difficulty levels to get more points. Oh, and just from doing the part 1 and part 2 stuff, we have enough points to get our free Diona. And here is the event shop this time around. There's 300 primo gems in there as well as the crown and the other normal materials. If you get the maximum points, you can clear out the shop. However, this event is not going to be that easy for a lot of players. So I'm really going to stress out for you to purchase the important stuff first. Ignore the upgrade gemstones and mora, go for the primo gems and crown. Then maybe exp books or talent books after that. To max up the shop, you need to score a total of 20,000 points in the battle domain. There are 4 fights total, so you need to get an average of 5,000 points per fight. If you only want enough points to get that custom name card, then you will need an average of 3,750 points per fight. Here's what the 4 fights look like. We only have info for the first one, which contains Geo Bishop Hatchlings and normal Geo Bishops. Let's break down what's in the shop, how much they cost, and the amount of points we need. Here I highlighted just the important stuff. I consider them to be the Primo Gems, the Crown of Insight, your Gold Talent books, your Character and Weapon EXP, and Diona. If you want to buy all of these, you need 5,390 points. If you want to clear the entire shop, you need 11,490 points. And on the right side is a breakdown of how we get the points. Just collecting the fragments and doing the explorations, we can get 2430, and doing the mini dungeon at the end of each act, we get 810. This gives us 3240 total points for just doing the easy stuff. In order to get all the important items, we need an extra 2150 currency from the battle portion. This is a very easy goal. You only need 5000 points total among the 4 battles to get all the important items. Before I end this general guide, let's take a look at the points we can get in battle. In order to get the name card, you need an average of 3750 points. This means you have to play on hard difficulty where the enemies are level 80. Even maxing everything on normal would not give you enough points. And if you want to clear out the shop, you need 5,000 points on average per stage. If your team is not that strong, then you'll have a hard time reaching that goal. But don't despair, you don't need that many points to get all the important items from the shop. If the fights are appearing to look very difficult, then I might make some guides for each one. Anyway, that's all for now for the quick overview. As always, thanks for watching and have fun out there, traveler.